Hello everyone, my name is Gabriel. In this tutorial, we'll be learning how to use VLOOKUP to answer this question. Firstly, let's start. The first question is that we want to use VLOOKUP to return the color of this particular plant name. Now, this is the plant name here. There's a, there's a column name called plant name. And we are looking for this plant name brown. So we want it to return this specific color, the category of the plant name, the soil, and the price. How do we do this using VLOOKUP without, without, without looking at this data manually? So all we have to do is to what? go to this cell here. Let me zoom it. Type equal to VLOOKUP. Now, what is the lookup value we are looking for? This is the lookup value. Now, the table array. Before answering questions like this, you need to do a table array. You have to put it in what? In a what? In a name range. Now, for all this, if you select all this, this is our data here. You can name it as all data or whatever you want. Can you see? Category. I've done a name range. Before I started this tutorial, you have to make it short. So now let's go back to this uh, again and type code to VLOOKUP. Our lookup value is what this, comma. Our table array is what? All data. Which is this? All data, yeah. Column index. What do you, what, um, what is it going to return for us? Want it to return color now. Color is in what is in can you see this is plant name, this is color, which is what two. So this is one, two, three, four, five. So color is what two return two, come out sign. Now, is it approximate match or exact match? Obviously, it can be approximate match, it is exact match, that is exactly the color name for this particular plant uh, plant name brown. So we return false here. Can you see? We return false. Then we close our bracket. Can you see? It returns yellow. Can you see? So if you look at this particular plant name brown, what is the color? Yellow. Can you see? Want to re want it to return the category. So, all we have to do is to what? drag it to this right hand side. It will return NA because we have to change this cat uh, column index to what? So, this category is under where 1, 2, and 3. So, we are changing it to what? 3. Can you see? Press enter. And there's an error somewhere. Okay. The lookup value. I have to change the lookup value as well. Lookup value is this. Can you see? Return tree. Want it to return the sell price. Let me do it again. So type what? Equal to. Yes. Let's, let me zoom it in. So. Equal to VLOOKUP. Lookup value is brown. So we want to return the particular soil type. What's the table array? All data. The column index. Now, if you look at our data here, the column index for soil type is what? Which is 1, 2, 3, 4. So it will be 4. So equal to VLOOKUP. Can you see? This is the soil type for it. So we can as well do for price. So that's a basic value curve function you should know. Column index is price, which is five. 
Amazing. Let's move to the second part, which is wide card searching. What do we mean by wide card searching? Let's say for this particular plant name, leap. If you look at our data here, there is no plant name called leap. What we are trying to do is that part of plant name leap, that is any plant name that has leap in it, that is L I P, wants to bring out the information. Can you see? Any particular plant name that has LIP wants to bring out the information. How do we do this using VLOOKUP? This is very simple to do. All you have to do is what? Type equal to VLOOKUP. Now, once you type the VLOOKUP, it starts with what? With an apostrophe. Yeah, with, a, with a quotation mark, rather. Then put an asterisk. This is the quotation mark. And you reference this particular cell where the LIP is. Put an ample sign again. Then put the quotation. Can you see? Let me redo it again and, and zoom it. Let's make it bold. Let's make it bold. We want VLOOKUP to return any plant name that has LIP in it. So, all we have to do is what? Equal to VLOOKUP. So, start with the what? Quotation. In quotes, quotation. So, Asterisk quotation again, and an ample sign. Then you reference this particular cell where LIP is. An ample sign again. Then can you see that? So, what's the next thing? The table array. Now, the next thing is what? The table array. Our table array is what? Our data. Comma. What are we returning there? The plant name. So, we're returning plant name which appears as the first column one then the what the exact match can you see to so turn tulip so tulip has lip in it can you see there's no other uh plant name that has lip in it only this aside this one lip can you see Can you see? Let's do for the category as well. So, change the lookup value. This. Then the category should be three. Can you see? This flower. Then the soil type. I have to do what? Drag it. So the soil type is on the fourth column. That's why I return four here. Yeah. Can you see? 
Don't fall. Amazing. Now let's do this last part, which is called sorting. The first question is that for this particular soil type, acidic. No, there's a column called soil type. You see, this is this are different type of soil type. Where we have the neutral, we have acidic. Can you see? Now, want to return the first plant for this particular soil type. That is for acidic. This is acidic here. Yeah. Which plant name occurs first? Which is this one? The assay popperium. They want to return the last plant for this particular soil type. This is for acidic again. This is acidic. This is the last plant. So to what? Rosa. How do we do this using the Excel form function without doing it manually? The first question is very simple, which is what? The first plant for this type. So equal to VLOOKUP. So it is looking for this particular value. Top value, comma. Then our table array is what? All data. Then column index is what? One. Then, oh, okay. I see. We've got in the first one. Now, this last question that is, we want to look for the plant name that is the last plant name for this particular soil type. You have to be careful here. Yeah. It's simple, but we have to be careful as well. As well. There are different methods or different ways of doing this. But I'm going to be showing you one in this particular tutorial. So we use what? The lookup function. So we type equal to lookup. Now, type two, comma, one, dividing it by. Fish. Let's let me let me look for a way to zoom it so you can see very well. So equal to look up two comma one to so look up vector. We are dividing this by this particular cell. Can you see this particular cell? Then equal to we are going to reference this one. Close the bracket. Then we close the brackets. Can you see? It returns the plant's last plant name for this particular acidic type. That is, this is the last acidic type. This is the last plant name, which is Rosa. Let me do it again. Look up. This is the way to do it. Right to one. Then this H23 is this particular one here, this acidic. Equate it with the that is where acidic is this particular column. That's why it is soil. That's the name of the column. Yeah, it's soil. They close the bracket. They reference this 
particular cell here, which is the plant name. 